Often when people think of the reptiles of Africa, the big guys come to mind, like the croc. But there are so many interesting smaller species. Why, there is even one that eats these crocs, well, when they are still eggs. This here is a monitor lizard. They will often feed on croc eggs, among other treats like frogs and snails. When we turned the corner, we saw this guy moving along. I got really excited as I thought this was a large Nile monitor, but our guide said it was a savanna monitor. Well, either way, monitors are large lizards. This one was over three feet long. They have these long claws which help them move around, and they can sense what's around them by using that long forked tongue. Now it's a rough life when you're smaller, as we see here with this younger monitor. It's becoming lunch for this bird. We even spotted later on one of the most feared snakes on the planet, the mamba. This mamba was losing a battle to yet another bird. Seeing a snake that can easily kill you puts you in your place. Notice the zoom look on the video camera. Unlike other animal hosts, I'm not going to run out and grab this reptile. I like them from afar. This is a agama lizard. They are found throughout East Africa. This little guy will eat insects like ants and termites. Now the male is red and bluish, and with the female just being the plain brown. Now his colors will be brighter in the noon sun, and will actually fade into the evening. We can list them up with animals like lions and peacocks, where the boy is more attractive than the girl. Haha! <laughs> Later on, right off the road, we saw something move in the grass. And upon closer inspection, it was the leopard tortoise. The leopard tortoise is the fourth largest species of tortoise in the world. This one was about 14 inches long. Each tortoise has its own individual markings, just like the cat that they take their name from. This is a shy tortoise that often hides in tall grass, so they aren't seen as much. You can see his head is retracted into his shell. He later felt okay with us being around there and looked out for a peek. Well, I hope you like seeing some of my footage of wild reptiles. I know that owning reptiles is a big passion for some. So if you do, make sure they are not wild caught, and if they become something you can no longer take care of, please do not release them into the wild. Check out more reptile info in this video's description, and thanks for watching.